Well, the suspect shot and killed a deli worker on the Upper East Side on Friday night has now been linked to three other robberies. The NYPD just released new video of the suspect taken about an hour later at a deli in the Bronx. The suspect wore a mask and a white hazmat suit. Today, investigators acknowledge they are having a hard time identifying the suspect because of the disguise. I've been reporter Kimberly Richardson is on the Upper East Side with the very latest. Kim. Well, guys, here in our area, depending on where you live, absolutely everywhere you live, there is a corner deli like this one. Some consider it an extension of their living room, the clerk behind the desk family, and that is precisely the case with the 67-year-old man who worked here and who died here. Police say shot and killed by the same man, the same suspect, they believe terrorized people in three more separate armed robberies. Today, officials released a new image of the suspect wearing a distinct white full body hazmat suit, black gloves, knee pads, and in this case, he didn't have on a dark colored mask. Police have now linked him to four robberies, two in Brooklyn, one in the Bronx, and one in Manhattan. He's taken cash, cigarettes, and cell phones. His crime spree actually started February 25th. The most recent attacks unfolded on March 3rd at a bodega in the Bronx and at the deli here on 81st and 3rd. The suspect pistol whipped the victim who may have been trying to defend defend himself but was shot in the head. Police say the suspect wears that white hazmat suit each time and a mask again. That's why detectives are having a hard time identifying him. One thing that is also consistent is his mode of transportation. Folks who knew the victim tell me he will be terribly missed. He's in three different boroughs, so right now there is no rhyme or reason. We just know that he is utilizing his scooter, uh, which means he gets around pretty freely. He's utilizing the scooter. Uh, we have him fleeing three of the locations on the scooter, and after the first incident in the 7 Precinct, and we have him later on that afternoon on that same scooter. He's just the nicest guy ever. He's the, the bodega guy, you know? And I don't mean that in a nonchalant or like, this, it's, he was the man you'd come, I, I would hug him when I see him. He asked about my brother. Uh, we've been here for well over 10 years. He was the nicest man. And as for that man who worked here, uh, the victim, folks tell me he worked the overnight shift and his name was Michael. Coming up later on Eyewitness News, what police are again asking business to do, something that may prevent this from happening again. 